it's time to bleed this incantation. Uh, they've been a little, I feel like their last album uh, sucked. <laughs> I did not like it because it was that like, um, it, was, it was an auditory experience, you know? And personally, it's just not for me. So I didn't like that. Uh, though I will say the, the album they had before that, Hidden History of the Human Race, fantastic. Fantastic stuff. But Time Wave Zero, absolutely not. Absolutely not. We, we checked that out on stream. I died. I, I cringed really hard. But let's check out what they got going here. It's two songs, uh, uh, Obliquity of the Ecliptic and then Luminescent Bridge. I'd imagine they explore both sides of the blood incantation sound, but you never know until you watch it. So let's do it. Obliquity of the Ecliptic. They've been getting into the DMT, dude. There's two new songs. Okay. <laughs> Yo, I'm I'm liking this intro. Dude, death metal is weird. It felt, it felt like it was really quiet last year, and the year before that, and the year before that. But everyone's coming back this year. Ooh. Grandpa getting into the orange paint again. Yeah, I'm just so excited. Cannibal 2. Oh, dude, that's so nostalgic. It's giving, it's giving Kaoplasm, dude. That's what I'm saying. Deathcore's dead, dude. And now we're in space. And now we're in space. I just think I'm a little tired of Death Course, so this is so refreshing.
fucking genius, dude. <laughs> I'm just so glad that I got to experience the deathcore renaissance. A lot of people sleep on death metal. They just don't get it. What a beautiful fucking band. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, no, it's just I think it's been a minute since death metal was like popular. Like popular, popular, as popular as it used to be. So a lot of people who are into metal through modern means, they don't know about the history. They don't know like <laughs> just the beautiful guitar work. That is an issue I have with like some of the chords. I feel like, you know, the solo is just it, like no shade to the guitarist it's just like death metal guitarist their solos are just it's another level it's another level fucking fantastic oh my god there's um damn i'm hyped for the the, the next one I'm, I'm curious if they're gonna take a different route with her or what but that was fucking beautiful Death metal guitar or guitar work, it's just always been so endearing to me. Luminescent Bridge. This one might be more of an experience type of song. And the drums. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's going to be the route. It is so interesting how they like sort of meld 
maybe not necessarily like noise music, but it's like synth wave, vapor wave, or whatever wave it is. The way they use it's just beautiful. I wonder why that is. It's just like, it's got that cosmic horror vibe. Spectral Voice also does a good job at that, but I think they're um, either disbanded or on hiatus. I wanna see if they have physical copies of this. It probably sold out, honestly. They still have them. They still have them. I'm buying one. Yeah, two mold will be next, and then to the grave after two mold. <laughs> this is like meditative rock. This is. When I grew, was growing up, my mom used to listen to a lot of meditative rock. This band Zazen, Z-A-Z-E-N. And I'm hearing that. I'm hearing that here. It's, it's like, wow, how nice. Absolutely. I also feel like, um, at times, Perturbator, too. That would be a crazy collab. Yeah, suffocation will go up on YouTube. Absolutely.
It's just more active. The ambient album just didn't have much going on. This motif keeps coming back as well. They're just musicians, dude. They just make music. I love that. It, it doesn't feel constrained by genres, they just make what sounds fucking good. And that's how musicians should be. Damn. <laughs> what beautiful men who make such beautiful music. The Bolognese or something, I don't know. Let them cook. Men are great. It's honestly so inspirational too. <laughs> Cause what I want from Sunscourge is to be like a synth wave, like death core fusion and a, and a few other things. I just kind of want to make all the music I like smushed into one. You guys heard it when I was sharing some of those demos. And it's just inspiring to see like how far like that concept can be taken. Like this is crazy. There, there's so much going or so much coming together in this. It's it's like it's phenomenal. It's just it, it just comes from a love of music. No elitism. No, well, this genre's better. Uh, uh, uh. Beautiful. Oh yeah, the Acacia Strain. Yeah, just like I I do love how much experimentation's been coming out this year. The Full of Hell Gasp Split, like so much really really cool experimental music. And I have noticed like a very common uh, theme: synthwave, synthwave, and metal. The combinations are starting. They're coming together. I mean, Perturbator himself did it when he uh, collaborated with the, the Cult of Luna guy. J Johan's... Not... Johan something. I, I don't remember his full name. But like for, for their that project, Final Light, where it was like synthwave with like uh, death metal vocals. And you're like, holy shit. Why hasn't this been done before? Like, it's really cool to just see all the experimentation coming out. Mostly... Mostly death metal, but like often at times intersecting with synthwave as well. Like we're getting some just really cool, really emotional things. I think that's what people want. I think that's like one of the big ap appeals with Thal right now is just how much emotion uh, just is conveyed with that type of music. The storytelling, the structure. Like we're 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 getting away from just like first chorus, verse chorus, verse chorus breakdown, and maybe a shitty solo. You never heard of synthwave? What? What? Listen to Perturbator. Listen to Perturbator. Uh, it's just, uh, there's just like so much, so much cool stuff. The cool thing about Synthwave is that while it is outside of metal, a lot of people in uh, Synthwave, or at least James Kent of Perturbator, at least, he used to do black metal. And then he took what he knew from that and just made synth music out of it. Whoa, whoa. And it, it, it's interesting because then you hear like the parallels, like uh, in, in terms of like how that music is is structured and how it sort of crosses the boundary of like what the respective genres of metal and synthwave are right when you're you're blending concepts from 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 two different ones 
it's 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 just so cool i love it i just love the experimentation we're seeing like the acacia strain full of hell uh blood incantation blood incantation's been doing it for a while now but it's just so sick i think we're oh, oh my god it's exciting because it's also coinciding with this sort of death metal renaissance uh, that that does seem to be sort of the the, the locus of it oh, peeling flesh peeling flesh they, they experiment in a bit of a different way though in a bit of a different way yeah they got the gangsta slam but it's cool. I feel like we're getting like genre blends that they haven't been done before. And it's just, it's fucking, we're, we're getting, we're like watching new genres like fucking pop up. Like, like Blood Incantation made a genre. Isn't that insane? Isn't that fucking insane? It's so cool. Uh, but I'm excited. I, I'm going to try and grab one of these LPs. I think they're limited to 2000. I hope they don't uh, sell out, but I'll pick that up. Like, this is fucking legendary. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I'm just excited. I'm just so excited. I was getting a little bored with music lately to listen to like, oh, a new metalcore song came out from, uh, it's like, oh, here we go again. New deathcore song came out. Generally, like, I mean, that's why I've been uploading a little less just because like, there hasn't been as much exciting stuff coming out. But now, now it's, now it's happening. Now it's happening. Psycho Frame 2, bringing back, it's just like, a lot of like the old school sounds are coming back and I really do like it. 